What is up Shark Army, it's your boy Shark and welcome back to another video. It is October which means it is the autumn season, which also means Halloween is around the corner and it is one of my favourite times of the year. So today in Stardew Valley I'm going to be showing some awesome Halloween mods, the best ones you can find for Stardew Valley. I've installed all of them into the game, I'm going to showcase them all, we're going to get into the Halloween spirit and if you like what you see there will be links down below in the description to uh, download them and check them out yourselves and get them into your game because they do look incredible. So you can probably see uh, straight away whilst we've uh, loaded up here that all of the UI and the layout and the colours have all changed, it looks a little bit more scary and spooky and Halloween-y which is awesome. And of course our character has changed as well, we are now looking like a werewolf, there's five options you can choose from with this mod, you can make yourself look like a completely different person. And I have just gone with the standard default one which is the werewolf, as you can see the nose, the eyes and the body and everything has changed. All of the furniture in the house has changed too, we've got a chest here, a storage chest and it looks like a a mouth and it opens when you when you access it which is awesome so straight away all the furniture as you can see looks very spooky and Halloweeny and that's not the only thing that's changed in the game there's lots to show we've got a brand new farm all of the town has changed as well all the NPCs all the items look different so let's take a look around and uh, have a look what we can see so here is the farm layout I believe this is called the this farm is called the forest meadow it's a bit overrun right now with all of the trees but as you can see they all look different as well it looks very very spooky, we've got giant pumpkins and giant hands, we've got skeletons all over. Skeletons are hanging from the trees, which is pretty crazy. We've got a dog somewhere as well, which I want to show you, but I can't find him. He's hidden with all this mess. So as you can see, this is our dog. He looks like a skeleton, he's literally got no fur, his eyes are flashing red, looks very awesome. I did download a mod which keeps the dogs looking the same, but you can have Halloween or spooky costumes on them. But the overall Halloween mod that I'm using, which makes everything look different like this, uh, has also changed the dog as well. And this mod only looks like this in the autumn season. You can change it to be every season all year round, but I've just put it on in the autumn, so when it goes to winter and spring and summer, it will look like normal again and it won't look like this. Only when this season uh, turns up, which is, I like it like that. We've also changed the horse as well. I think that is a, like a skeleton horse. The trees look so good. I mean, look at this one. It's got like a face on it. But if you love Halloween and you love spooky stuff, and this mod's going to be so good. I'm just having a little check around on the farm because like I said, it is a brand new farm layout. And I've not really seen it yet, so I'm going to have a good look. As you can see as well, all of the items have changed. So sap now looks like blood. The stones have been replaced with skulls and the wood has been replaced with like bones. The seeds are the same and the fiber is like a purple color now as well. I believe everything's changed in this. And oh wow, look at this in the middle of the farm. We've got like a, a blood fountain with some benches around it that you can sit sit beside. That is absolutely mad. I know in spring and summer this is just a normal fountain but look how much it changes when it's in, uh, in, in autumn. So the name of the overall Halloween mod is called Halloween Feelings. This changes the way the game looks completely on your farm and uh, around the town and stuff like that. It gives it a completely different colour, different visual and that is called Halloween Feelings and the map is called Forest Meadow. To change your character to make him look like this, like I said, there's five different variants. You can be like a, a zombie and like a witch or a wizard. And this mod is called Fall Creatures. You can find all of these on Nexus mods. Look at our house, our house has changed as well. It looks like a little spooky cabin. Looks like where a witch will live. All of the decorations and furniture in your house and outside on the farm have changed as well. They've now gone with the color and the theme. Everything's the same visually. We've now got loads of Halloween decorations which replace all of the seasonal plants. As you can see, we can decorate a house, make it look a bit more Halloween-y. I'm not sure if you can place these outside or not. It'd be pretty awesome if you could. And look at that, it's looking good. So let's go around into town now. There's a big mod that I want to show you as well. And this is called Ghost Town. So this changes all of the NPCs in the, the game in Pelican Town. As you can see, all of the characters are now ghosts. They're all dead and they just don't know it. And also another mod that we've got in here is the item descriptions of all of the, the items and resources in the game have changed. So as you can see for sap it says tree blood is still sticky. They're a little bit weird and a little bit dark. The mod is called unsettling item description. So as you can see the most ancient and versatile of all weapons and tools which is a stone. Uh, the wood, a highly flammable building material. Mixed seeds, there's a little bit of everything in here, not just seeds. There's a few dead bugs and animal droppings too. <laughs> and Fiber says uh, better check it for animal droppings. A golden scythe is from the hands of the Reaper himself. 
and the gold axe, a perfect tool for chopping trees and stealing kneecaps, and the gold pickaxe, a swing to puncture through stones, debris, or almost anything else. So yeah, that's a pretty cool mod. But yeah, all the NPCs are ghosts, so they are all dead in this town. They're not alive, but in the game, their body can be found somewhere in the town where they have died. So like, if you if you go around and explore, you will see their real body where it died or where the person vanished before they turned into a ghost. So we can take a look and we can see where we can uh, find the NPCs that passed away. Now they'll just be walking around as a ghost in spirit, as you can see. Look at little, oh no, little Vincent's a ghost. And we've got Gus over here going into the saloon. As you can see, all the body's like transparent. It's so cool. Everyone's dead. We are the only person here alive. Let's see if we can see any bodies around. This is going to be quite interesting. I wonder if Marnie's body's died in the mayor's house. I uh, don't. No. But here he is though. Mayor Lewis. You're a ghost too. Look at these little Krobus plants. All of the water has turned into blood. Oh my god, that is so creepy. This mod looks mad. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. That is so graphic. Oh look, some candy on the floor here. So these are blackberries. They've turned into candy or sweets. And Leah is just looking into the, uh, the blood water here. Debating life. So we found Clint. We know how Clint ended up dying. I mean, it's not a very nice thing there. I'll probably have to blur that. Let's see if we can find anybody else. You can disable this mod, you can change it. Oh my god. <laughs> Shane's body is in the freezer. Look at that. That's how Shane passed away. It's like Final Destination. If anybody's seen that film, let me know. So that's how Shane, he got stuck in the freezer when he was stocking up the shelves or whatever. And yeah, he must have, <laughs> he must have died in there. It's getting night time too, this is not good. It makes it look a little bit more spooky, so I'm down for that. Let's carry on, is anything else around? It'd be interesting to see where all of the bodies are. What happened to everybody? Oh, look at the artifact worms. It's like a hole in the ground with some eyes. That's cool. Let's keep going. We are uncovering the mysteries. It's like a crime scene. We're gonna find out who did this. Where are all the bodies? This is the community center, looking absolutely terrifying. It looks even more spooky and abandoned than it was. Is anybody in here? No, nobody passed away in the community center. Oh, look at the playground. That is so horrible. I hope that's not Vincent. I don't think it is. That is so bad. And as you can see, all of the mines have changed as well. The complete different color. It looks like the monster floor. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> this is crazy. And all of the enemies and the monsters have also changed as well. Look at this. This is one of the bugs and it's like a floating eyeball now. Oh my god, look at the slimes. What are they? They look horrible. Oh my god. The little duggies have turned into hands. They're trying to grab you. That's freaky. That makes that so much more horrible. Let's get out of here. So another thing that I want to show you that I forgot to mention at the start is the new spooky hats and costumes that you can get. So you get some Halloween masks, as you can see, we get the, um, the ghost face, the hooded skull, we can get zombies, demons, devils, skulls, and they look awesome. So we'll walk around with one of those on, why the hell not? <laughs> look at this. There we go, we look the part right now. So I think what we're going to do before we wrap up this little Halloween showcase is we're going to find and discover all of the NPCs obviously bodies before they turned into a ghost we'll try and find out how they passed how they died in this ghost town we've obviously found two just Shane and Clint so now we've got to try and find the rest of them so let's go and the first victim that we found today is the wizard look what happened he's on the train track he's being run over by the train that is how he left us that's not good. Did somebody push him? Did he stand there himself? We'll never know. But the wizard has gone. Whoa, this place looks hell. And oh my god. Who is that? I'm not sure whose body that is, guys. You'll have to let me know. Is it is it Linus? I have no idea who that is. If you can find out who that is, if you know who it is, let me know in the comments. I'm not sure if it's Linus or Evelyn. I have no idea, but I don't know what they'll be doing in here. That's not good. Maybe it is Linus. He looks through the bathhouse quite a lot. So these are all the ghosts walking around. I can't see any bodies in this house. Oh my god, hold on a second. 
I found the mayor's body. Look at this. He's been planted in the soil. He's been buried. You can see his head sticking out of the crops. Who did that? I'm blaming Marnie. We've got to take a trip to Marnie's and see what's going on here. Some of these bodies are hidden. You've got to really look. Oh no, oh no. Okay, we found Gus. He's in the hospital bed. That's where he passed away. Oh no. He probably choked on one of his meals. Oh no, guys. We found another one. It's Emily. She's on the uh, Yoba shrine. Or the, uh, the altar of Yoba. What is she doing there? Oh my god. This is creepy. Who did this? I wonder where George's body's gonna be. Wasn't sure who that body was up in the spa. It could have been George or Evelyn or Linus. Oh my god. Pam, she's in the bin. Her body is in the trash can with all the empty bottles of beer. That's where she went? Oh my god. She must have been uh, hella drunk. Let's go to the beach. Let's see what's going on down here. We've got to find somebody on the beach. Oh, I love Willie's cabin. It looks so spooky. Look at the beach. Oh my god. Oh dear. There's Elliot. He died on this pile of wood. He's got a drink in his hand. Not sure what's going on there. We found Elliot. Not far from his cabin. There's Linus. So that's Linus right there. He's in the sewers? Look at that. That's so creepy. So who was the person in the spa? What about the saloon? There's got to be someone in here, right? Nobody. Oh my god. We found Leah. I don't know what happened to her. Poor, poor thing. But we've got her head spinning on the little wind turbine there. She has been definitely murdered. Who did this? If there's anybody we don't find, then that's definitely the killer. Oh my god. What did the wizard do? We found Caroline. Now, if you're familiar with this game, you know that there's been a few secrets and hints in the game with the fact that Abigail is the wizard's daughter. So maybe the wizard and Caroline had a thing going and obviously that's where Abigail came from. Obviously, Pierre is not Abigail's dad. Abigail's got purple hair, same as the wizard. And look, we found a body next to the fire. Oh, that's not good. And the wizard was up at the train station. Maybe he murdered Caroline and then took his own life. But where's Abigail, his daughter? That's the big theory here. Okay, uh, I believe that is Sam's body. He's obviously jumped off the cliff there. I believe that is Sam. Could be wrong. Sam or Kent, maybe? But he's got the blue t-shirt there, so maybe it is Sam. That's not good. We're getting there now. Oh my god. I didn't see that earlier, but look. It's Haley's body in the pond, in the fountain. The blood fountain. That's the reason it's turned into blood. Who pushed her in there? She does normally hang around here as well. I'm not sure if that's Vincent's up there. It looks like he's here, but I'm not sure. Wait. Sandy's still alive. And so is the bouncer. I smell something dodgy going on here, guys. They're the only people alive in this place. Oh, and Gumpher. Gumpher was alive too. I found Willy. You see that there? That's his floating hat. That is Willy's cap. As you can see, Willy here, he's got this little hat on. He's a ghost right now, so it's hard to see, but that's, that's his body. He's floating. Outside of the lonely rock. Look at the rock, he's got a face. I didn't see that before. So we know what happened to him. So apparently 20 villagers in this ghost town mod, uh, you can find their remnants of the body. So 20 of them. Some are more obvious than others, so some are quite hard to find. For example, like the Lewis's head there. But I'm not sure where the rest of them are gonna be. If you guys wanna let me know and help me, that would be good. Or download yourself and try and find them. But I've spent a good 30 minutes trying to find these bodies and I can't really find much more. I was thinking maybe here in the dog food bowl, this might be Alex's body. Maybe the dogs ate him. I see like a little bit of a green t-shirt there, which obviously he wears. It looks like his jacket. Maybe that's one for Alex right there. I don't know where Abigail was. 
Penny might have been up in the spa, that might have been her body. And Jazz and Vincent, I wasn't sure either. Don't know where George is. I don't think Evelyn's body can be found anywhere. What's this? In the middle of the, the town centre there. Whose body's that? That looks like a big body. Someone got murdered there. You can see they put the chalk around the outline of the body. I'm not sure who that would be. I don't know where Pierre's body is either. And Abigail would be interesting to find where that is, but I have no idea. But I've not got time to keep looking for those. So I am going to wrap that one up there. That has been some Halloween or spooky mods for Stardew Valley that... Um, are on Nexus mods, they're quite popular, these have been downloaded and used many times and they are some of my personal favourites, you can find them all down below in the description that is definitely Vincent's here, oh my god and look, the ghosts are playing on the park, that's so weird but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it, this was a little Halloween special mod showcase for Stardew Valley if you did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're new around here to see more Stardew Valley content. I'll be doing many more mod showcases on this, but because it's Halloween around the corner, I thought we'd get into the spirit and do a little bit of a, an Halloween special theme there. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Make sure you stay safe, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.